Hello everyone and welcome to a special episode of RG Pulse where we have brand new Intel 14th gen CPU motherboards to unveil. The Z790 motherboards have a new series coming out. Yeah, that's right. We've got uh, Intel's 14th gen core CPUs are here. We've got the Intel Core i9-14900K at the top of the pack. Uh, the new lineup includes six unlocked desktop processors at launch, um, going all the way up to 24 cores and 32 threads with a 6 gigahertz out-of-the-box clock frequency. 6 gigahertz, that's crazy to see on the box. The uh, uh, Following that's the Core i7-14700K, which comes with 20 cores and 28 threads, uh, which is a nice uh, little boost over last generation's i7, so that's pretty cool. Intel says their new lineup offers up to a 23% boost in gaming performance compared to their competitors. And best of all, uh, uh, these CPUs are not, it's not on a new socket. Nope, it's all compatible with the 600 and 700 series chipsets, which is great. So, you know, if you're sitting on those old 600 and 700 chipsets, you're good to go for these new CPUs. Yes, you will need a BIOS update if you have uh, an older board, but that should be easy to do as long as you have a compatible CPU. However, if you're looking for the absolute best that this generation has to offer, uh, we've got some new Z790 motherboards that take that existing socket and push the performance and features even further. And we want to show those off to you today. We have teased a few of these recently, but now we are releasing the full lineup. Um, so let's check some of these out. We've got three new ROG Maximus boards. That's the cream of the crop. We've got three new ROG Strix boards for high-performance gaming and a very special tough gaming board uh, that takes our, our ultra-durable lineup to the next level. So we'll go, we'll go through all these. All, all the ROG boards have Wi-Fi 7. We've mm -hmm. got more models with onboard PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots. And we have a very special new feature called Dimplex. So starting with the Dark Hero. I always love the Dark Hero board. It's always one of my favorites of each each generation. I mean, yeah, when we first announced the Dark Hero, I was just so sold on it, right? We always had the Maximus Hero, then they created the Dark Hero, and the aesthetic is just, it's it's peak for me. This is it. This is what I want. This is what I put, want to put on all my boards. I love the aesthetic of everything about it, and it's got every feature you could ever want on a motherboard. Yeah, true story. So, I mean, you've got that sweet, like, polymo lighting on the IO shroud, which I think just like, looks so cool. Big old ROG logo on the bottom there. But this is our top end board uh, in terms of features, like you said. So we've got dual Thunderbolt 4 connectors on the board, uh, an ROG Supreme FX audio uh, uh, solution with an ESS ES9218 quad DAC for your front panel connections. So those are all like high end front panel stuff. USB 20 gigabit per second for the front panel with Quick Charge 4 Plus support. All the high-end stuff here. And, of course, you have 20 plus 1 plus 2 teamed power stages for the CPU vCore and onboard graphics. Those are capable of 90 amps of output for super clean power delivery uh, for high lows, um, some overclocking, things like that. This board also has so much storage. <laughs> it's got one onboard PCIe 5.0 M.2 slots. You can use the latest and greatest drives on that. And then four PCIe 4.0 M.2 slots. Like, holy moly, you will never run out of space. Your game library can be many terabytes on this machine. And of course, like I said, we've got Wi-Fi 7, 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port uh, if you have a, a wired connection nearby, um, along with our new uh, Asus Wi-Fi Q antenna. So we showed this off recently. This improves signal throughput and has some, some cool software features. So in Armory Crate, you'll be able to run a wizard that helps you position the antenna. Uh, for the best possible signal strength, which is super handy if you're gaming on Wi-Fi. I mean, Wi-Fi 7 makes that, uh, you know, m better than ever. But ha being, ha being able to kind of optimize that is is special. Yeah, and the antenna also gives you just the ability to, you know, uh, all the other motherboards, you need to screw the antenna on. Now these just kind of clip on. You just attach it very easily, yeah. which is super convenient. And the other PC DIY features that you've come to expect with our motherboards, like, you know, the pre-mounted IO shield, the PCIe, the Q slot release button or Q release button that we have, um, M.2 Q latch system, it's all there. It's got everything. Dude, the... the... <laughs> The Q release button and the Q latch system. So that for those of you that don't know, that is a just single button that you press to pop out the graphics card. It's you huge. don't have to like kind of fiddle with that that latch on the PCI slot. And then for M.2, instead of having to use those little M.2 screws that are just so small, and um, I, I always like lose them. Uh, it just has this little latch that you just put like twist to hold it's it down. So much smarter. So much better. 
all of this stuff makes building so much easier. And yeah, adding the adding the new uh, new antenna connections make that a lot easier too. So these are really really nice features to have on a board. Um, all of these ROG boards also feature AI overclocking, so that's our, our one-click overclocking solution. AI cooling too for optimizing your cooling system with that little auto like tuner, um, and of course our two-way AI noise cancellation, which keeps your in-game comm clear. In-game comms, huh. even if your teammates have background noise on their end, you can like filter out noise from their uh, voice coming to you, which is nice because we all have that one friend that's just like eating cheetos in the background with a condenser mic and doesn't oh, does, doesn't give <laughs> gives no f's <laughs> the worst i know all right so alongside the dark hero we're also releasing the rog maximus z790 apex encore also a sweet looking board this motherboard was designed with professional overclockers in mind um last generation's apex board allowed our overclocking team at rog to push an intel cpu past the nine gigahertz barrier Jeez. which all so close to that that double digits um so the apex encore uh, as the name suggests is an encore of that that board's bringing it home even better um it has an insanely beefy power delivery system for extreme overclocking as well as an included rog ddr5 fan kit to keep your memory temperatures low um something a lot of people uh, most people haven't really had to worry about it in the past but mm -hmm. when you're an extreme overclocker you're using ddr5 you're trying to push it to its limit it does get a little warm um and you want to keep those chips cool we've also got some advanced headers for water cooling on this board if you want to like monitor not just uh you know not just the pump speed but also things like the liquid temperature and the flow rate oh, wow. um so that that's pretty handy to have on there as well but speaking of liquid cooling we also have our our prime liquid cooling board, which is the ROG Maximus Z790 formula. So if you're not like an extreme, extreme overclocker, but you want a really slick board that integrates with your, your custom water cooling loop, this is the board. Um, so we've got built-in inlets up there on our brand new all copper hybrid chill cooling block on uh, like the BRMs and stuff. That can cool passively. You don't have to hook it into a water loop if you just like look at this board, but you can integrate it with your custom loop. Um, that, that is what it was designed to do. It also has a built-in uh, two-inch OLED display on like that M.2 heatsink. Um, and man, just an insanely clean white look. I love the... The, I didn't notice this until someone pointed out yesterday. The ROG font on that uh, shroud is is different than what we usually use right. um, on a lot of our boards. It looks really cool. It kind of looks like the Pulse logo, which I dig. It's like it's similar to the does. ROG font, but it's got a similar vibe to our Pulse logo, which yeah, obviously yeah. I'm a little biased and I love it. I um, it goes with the white really well. It's got that kind of sleek swoosh. Yeah. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It, it just it's it pops too, right? Having that little bit of color right there really makes it pop out. And obviously, that's RGB. Yeah. You can do whatever you want with it. Um, and of course, as a Maximus board, it also has Thunderbolt Four, Wi-Fi Seven, Five Gigabit Ethernet port, and again, that Supreme FX audio solution. So it is. It's a high end board. So yeah, three the three high end Maximus beautiful boards, but we also have three Strix boards coming as well. Yes, we've got, okay, so I'm going to kind of round these off. We've got this ROG Strix Z790E, Z790F, and Z790A. The Z790E, which you're looking at right now, that's the highest performance option. Um, it has a PCIe 5.0 M.2 slot, whereas the Z790F is slightly more affordable and because it sticks with all uh, PCIe 4.0 for its storage mm -hmm. slots. Um, it tones down the power delivery just a tad as well and has a, a couple fewer USB 10 gigabit per second ports. Um, but again, if it's like if that's not stuff that you're going to use, if that's not stuff that you need, you can save a little bit of money by going with the Z790F. Um, otherwise, it contains all the good stuff, right? It's got Wi-Fi 7. It's got that ROG Supreme FX audio, lots of onboard storage. Like it's still going to be a great high performance uh, gaming board for sure. And then finally, you've got that sick white themed Z790A board with again all the good stuff for for high performance gaming some minor differences we have specs uh for all of these motherboards in the links in the video descriptions you can go kind of dig through and check those out if you want but yeah the the real draw of the z790a is i think that white theme if you, if you can't quite make the the formula work for your budget the z790a would be a great base for a white theme oh, build let's just or get that comparison build that's the pop of the formula right yeah. that's like you know bold bold white and then it's a little bit more of that moonlight white as we like to call it for the strix yeah a little both bit of that gorgeous silver. slightly different yeah. aesthetics but both can you know kind of work for if that's the style you're going for yep for sure 
Finally, while this is an ROG channel, um, we also want to shine a spotlight on the new uh, the new Tough boards. Um, so this is the the Tough Gaming Z790 Pro Wi-Fi. Our Tough Gaming lineup usually um, like sticks with just the essentials, right? Um, it's not packing in as many of those really high-end features um, because it is trying to be a little bit more affordable. We put all of our focus on these boards into durability and reliability because that is the stuff that matters the absolute most, um, especially if you don't need like all of the bells and whistles. But very special, for the first time on an Intel Tough motherboard, we are offering AI overclocking. That is usually an ROG exclusive feature, but now you can get that one click performance boost on a tough board as well. Um, so that's a really nice, nice advancement for this generation. Plus, you know, plenty of PCIe slots, M.2 slots, USB ports, um, and Wi-Fi 6E on this board with, but it does come with our new Asus Q antenna for that optimal reception and the easy connection and things like that. Huge. So, um, you're using Wi-Fi 6E, but you do still get uh, a boost from, from last time in terms of that antenna. So, that's all the boards we're announcing this week, but I do want to call uh, quick attention to a couple of software features on these boards as well. So we talked about AI overclocking and AI cooling and all that stuff, but um, uh, a lot of our ROG Z790 boards also include AEMP2 and DimFlex. These are two features that help you get the most from your memory. The ASUS Enhanced Memory Profile, or AEMP, is our way of letting you you boost your memory above its baseline settings um, without having to fiddle too much, right? So even if your RAM doesn't support XMP, you can get that one-click optimization. The latest firmware improves that even further, um, allowing you to optimize a four DIMM configuration, even if you have a mixture of different memory brands or dyes, which is in the past has like always been a bit of a challenge. Um, I have two kits of of the same exact, it's the same exact model number memory, but they have different dyes on the chips. And when you start mixing stuff like that, it starts getting a little bit harder to get them to run at all the same speed and timings. Mm -hmm. Our AEMP makes this possible. That's crazy. Okay, well, if you think that's actually just, that's just the lead up to the even more exciting feature, which is DimFlex. DimFlex is awesome, okay? Like we mentioned earlier, DDR5 can get a bit warm, um, particularly when it's overclocked, and you don't want to lose that performance to heat. So DimFlex will dynamically adjust the memory controller's behavior based on the current temperature of those RAM chips. So you get the best of both worlds. Um, and again, this is just something you can just turn on in the BIOS. You can see here, you just flip it to enabled. We do have a guide on this uh, in the links in the video description. We're not going to go through it today, but What's really crazy is that we found this actually increased performance a significant amount. In Metro Exodus, we saw a 17.59% boost in average what? FPS com compared to the default memory settings. Now, even compared to XMP, DimFlex provided a 16% boost in wow. FPS. So this is an absolute no-brainer. Turn it on. Get free frames. Why wouldn't you want to use this? This is, like, this is one of those reasons to buy these boards right it's it's an actual very tangible boost in performance again we're not going to walk through it here but there's an article in the description of this video that should show you everything you need to know um we've got some other links there that'll give you the full rundown of these boards and specs um we're kind of just announcing them today also um yeah uh we have a, a partner youtube channel as well um asus north america that you should check out yep. right they did an AMA yesterday, and you guys can go get a, a like a deeper dive on all these boards we talked about today. This is kind of your quick overview of everything that we have coming, but JJ did the full AMA and much longer streams. So if you really want to dive in, we've got the articles and that AMA stream on the ASUS North America YouTube. Yeah, so go follow them. He, has, he JJ usually does some pretty deep deep stuff when new yeah. motherboards come out, um, a lot of guides and stuff like that as well. So definitely go uh, check that out if, that's what, if you want to get a little bit deeper. Um, link for that is in the description. Uh, and that channel, yeah, they do a lot of stuff on our DIY PC products. So yeah, thanks for joining us today. That is all of the brand new Z790 motherboards. Um, keep an eye out for these to show up in stores. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time. Take care.